a big program, of course, but it's in three or four phases. Let's talk about each one of them individually. There's the Epic Recreational Center, uh, 120,000 square foot rec center, but it's not your typical rec center. By goodness, it's going to have a uh, music mixing place, kind of like y'all have here, that we can work with y'all on. It's going to have yoga. It's going to have even a culinary area. Of course, it'll have the standard workout rooms, free weights, track. But the track, the walking trail is going to be unique. It's going to be split level. You can go around one level if you want to, but if you want to do an incline, you can go up, come back down later. It's going to have some lap pools, basketball courts, all the standard things that a, that a big Lifetime Fitness or LA Fitness would have, but 120,000 square feet. Right next door to it is going to be Epic Waters, 80,000 square feet indoor with a retractable roof, open year round. Just think about it this February. With the nice weather we've had in February, we could open the roof a few times. It's going to have an outdoor pool with cabanas, so that will be open in summer, but the indoor portion with the retractable roof open year round. One of the most exciting things we're doing though is an all inclusive playground. About a 10 acre site for handy, it's handy capable so anybody, wheelchair, handicap, you can go through it with your, with or without wheelchairs. Someone that has a handicapped child or a parent can go through it with non-handicapped. It's for all ages, all abilities. One of the neatest things, there's a nice one down in Round Rock. Ours is gonna be a little, a little bit bigger than that to start and then we wanna grow it. Then of course there's the outside amphitheater area. So when we have concerts in the park, we'll have them on a grand lawn outside. So all very exciting. The Epic Water is gonna have a flow rider in it. The first dual flow rider in Texas that's indoors. So just a lot of neat things. We just broke ground on it. It's supposed to open up in November of 2017. Everybody in Grand Prairie. The rec center will have specially priced for citizens of Grand Prairie so individuals will be able to afford it. I want kids that, to be able to play there that uh, basketball if they want to and then they'll have membership packages. The water park, the Epic Waters, will be priced strategically to compete with the other water parks around the area. Hawaiian Falls to our south, Hurricane Harbor. So we'll also give discounts to citizens though throughout the year. So children that couldn't otherwise use a water park will have special days that they could come Let's just pick a day. Let's say Tuesday morning if they come before noon, they'll get in on a very special rate. So I want it to be able to offer it to where anybody in Grand Prairie will at least be able to afford to come a few times to our Epic Waters. Has been on the uh, plans. We've owned the land for a, a number of years. And you know, that's where we built the summit and that's where we built the fire and police building. So there was 150 plus acres still left there. The citizens of Grand Prairie had voted years ago to build QT Park, the baseball park, and the summit using an eighth cent sales tax. Both of those eighth cent sales tax were about to go off, pay off the bonds sometime this year. Well, what do you do with that eighth cent but each making a quarter cent, do you let it go back? Or do you come up with another venue that the citizens of Grand Prairie may enjoy? So right after I was elected mayor, I decided let's finish out Central Park by building the Epic and use those two eighth cent sales tax to make it a quarter cent and see if the citizens of Grand Prairie would support it. We went to the, pack, to the citizens with a package and they did 76% overwhelming support to build. So that's the vision was let's make Central Park a great central area for our people to come together, play. Also an economic boost, a tourism boost. It's right in the center of the Metroplex, surrounded by six million people. You may have noticed here lately we came out with the big announcement that across the street IKEA is coming. So that whole area around I-20 and 161 is going to be a major retail center and the Epic will fit in right real well with it.
huge. It's the fourth IKEA to be built in Texas, only the second one in DFW. It's a destination retail center, 300,000 square feet. So what do you mean by destination retail center? People drive from all over to come to it. So I'm excited about IKEA, but what I'm real excited about is the acreage around IKEA. If you look at any other place where an IKEA has been built, a few years after it's opened, the spaces around it have filled up. So three years from today, you and I could be eating at a restaurant next door to Ikea that is dirt right now, cotton field. Three years from today, we'll be eating at restaurants. We'll be shopping at other shops other than Ikea that will follow Ikea. So that's what I and my fellow council members are really excited about is the economic impact that Ikea will bring by bringing other businesses to the area. Well, Ikea is going to be a, uh, a game changer for us, but let's talk about some other things that will, will change in the, let's say, three to six year, even nine year time frame. State Highway 360 is fixing to be completed down to 287. Opens up hundreds of acres of development. In the next two to three years, we'll be opening up frontage roads along I-20 and I-30. You cannot have development along major thoroughfares without frontage roads. Grand Prairie has not had frontage roads. We're fixing to have them. So let's just think about standing out along I-20 or I-30 or down 360 five years from today. The vacant land that you see now will not be vacant anymore. So we have more available land to develop retail wise than any of our neighbors any of them so because of the growth in texas and the growth that dallas fort worth area is getting and the growth that grand prairie and our neighboring cities are going to get that land is going to fill up with retail we're going to have more options and it's going to help our tax base and give us a lot our our people a lot of employment opportunities Hi, I'm Ron Jensen. I'm Mayor of Grand Prairie. Actually, I'm a Grand Prairie High School graduate. Graduated in 1969. I am GPISD.